yours popping playboys welcome back to the channel and all for new people what's up my name is sean this is my 2015 honda civic si and uh in today's video man well i just want to say that i just got off of work so if i do sound tired and stuff like that it's because i am as you guys can see it's 11 55 right now so yeah um today's video we're going to be talking about if well I'm, actually i'm just gonna do a little driving for you guys and also do like a little commentary telling you guys if uh going to RBC swap was worth it. Well, not RBC, but like telling if you got telling you guys if uh full bolt on is actually fast basically. So I know a lot of people think that full bolt on is not worth it, but in my eyes I see it being worth it if you could, you know, do it on a budget. Uh, I don't know if you guys seen the video I dropped, but I did it for le uh, literally like under a thousand dollars probably like a little bit over a thousand but I haven't spent that much on this car and i know i know people who spent over like three thousand dollars four thousand dollars just to get the cars to be just to get the car to be full bolt on and i feel like that's crazy because you can literally buy everything used and save yourself two thousand dollars i feel like if you're gonna buy everything brand new you might as well go you might as well go uh turbo unless that's not what you that's not what you want to do Eventually, I'm going to go turbo and sell all this stuff. But from now, wait, hold on, full time. I didn't take off traction control. That was a fail. But, uh, yeah, man, I feel like football and time on the car is freaking worth it. For my case, I didn't spend that much. But yeah, like I was saying, if you, if you, uh, like I was saying, if you uh, spent four thousand dollars to go football on, I feel like you just got finessed. You got ripped off because literally it costs four thousand, three thousand dollars just to go turbo. Well, probably probably another thousand, like five thousand altogether with tune, blah blah blah, injector, yeah yeah yeah. Probably cost like five thousand. You could have went boosted for five thousand dollars, but you said nah, bro. I'm gonna spend four thousand and just get like thirty horsepower, forty horsepower. My case is different because I spent literally a thousand, like a twelve hundred or thirteen hundred or a thousand. I don't, I don't really sum it up yet, but I haven't spent that much to go football time. And the car runs and performs and is strong. I haven't got any races yet. Maybe in this video we find somebody who want to run it, but I haven't got any races yet to really test the power, except for that motorcycle. And uh, that was like literally the day after I got tuned, so I couldn't even like control the car really. I'm making it seem like I had like a thousand horsepower. Like it was just weird driving a car that had extra power and all that extra RPM. Oh, by the way, if you do RBC swap your car, bro, it, it's it's amazing, bro. I have so much RPM than I had on uh, stock manifold. Stock manifold, bro, I had literally no type of RPM. I think it stops at 73 or 72 when you're on stock on stock manifold. Now, bro, I'm revving at like 79. Even though. Even though, yes, I know it's not good for the car. I shouldn't be doing that. It's still freaking cool, bro. So the reason why I went full bolt on is literally because I got tired of freaking the stock, like stock tune, stock manifold, all that stuff. It was just, I got tired of the car. So I wanted some power. I wanted some quick, easy power. So that's why I went full bolt on. And uh, it's pretty, it's pretty decent so far. I've been tuned for probably a month now. It's pretty decent. Haven't seen see no issues uh car runs good runs really good like super 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 good you definitely should do it you should definitely uh tune your car even if you're on stock manifold and tune it because like bro changes the car completely and now i get pops and bangs i get i just get a lot of things with this with this full bolt on stuff bro it's so damn so damn nice you guys probably can't hear it but Pops. Put the windows down a little bit. Well, I tried to make it pop, but you guys couldn't hear that. I'm definitely sure you guys can hear that. Probably now. Hold on. Let's see if I can do something. There we go. Nothing serious, nothing 
some crazy like freaking 350 Z pops and stuff. But for a Civic to be popping that loud, I find that pretty damn dope. And also, I don't know if you guys can hear it. I have uh, since I'm on the PLR kit, blah blah blah, and you, you get the throttle body the throttle body spacer. You do get that little. It sounds like you have a turbo, bro. It sounds so cool. Like, let me see if I could.
not the quickest car in the world, bro, but it definitely puts a smile on your face when you're hitting B10, bro. Definitely. Like, this car is just like, <sighs> car feels so dang good. My gosh. I'm so happy I went full bolt on first. I could get used to the power. So when I do go boost in the future, I won't be too scared of stuff, you know? I mean, I drove Ape Car when Ape Car was uh, 350. If you guys haven't watched that video, I'm going to put the link right here so you guys can watch it. But I drove his car when it was 350. Right now, he's making almost 5, I think. Like, uh, I think he's making 469. And, like, it's, that's totally a different car, bro. That's totally a different car. So, like, especially especially because of the Ape, um, especially because of my car, before I had, got it tuned, Durf had told me that I was making, like, 190 at, like, 5 thousand rpm six thousand rpm which is not which is not bad that's, that's after i had actually got you know the rbc swap and stuff and he dyno tuned it i made 190 with the first pull so that's not that bad i can't complain that's not that bad but after he told me that i made 30 extra horsepower in the mid-range because of the rbc bro they're like yo doing pulls in this car this feels like it keeps going this gear feel like it has so much power for some reason which I know it doesn't, but it feels like it, bro. I know. I know it doesn't. Six gear is a cruising gear. You shouldn't be hitting it. But, bro, when I didn't have it tuned, and when I did have a, have the stock Manny, it didn't feel like this car had power at all. It just felt like it was a one-two car. Like, first gear, second gear, third gear is all right. Fourth gear falls on its face. Falls on its face. But now, I could go through all the gears. I could go one, two, three, four, five car still feel like it's pulling which is crazy it feels so damn good i wish i could put like before and after clips to show you guys i'm gonna I'm find some clips and put it up so you guys can see like the difference between uh stock manifold and rbc and stock two and you know dirt tune so but yeah i can't complain bro car feels freaking great i was just about to do a pull and i looked behind me as a car Woo! Got you, boy, but you did it. Let me know how you guys feel about the girl boat. So, I upgraded from the Hero 4, so let me know how the quality is. This is my first video with it. So, uh, yeah, and also let me know how the audio sounds. I, I heard the girl boat Hero 6 audio is not that, that it's not the best audio for the GoPros. So, uh, just let me know how it sounds, bro. I could probably adjust it and stuff. Every, and like, next time I make a video with the GoPro, so just help me out. Purples. I know for a fact you guys can hear that. Do you guys hear the intake? That crap is so loud. Woo! Woo oh my god. Bro, I love this car, bro. Can't wait to the future when I can actually build the motor, boost it, all that stuff, bro. I'm never ever gonna sell this car, bro. This is the last this is the last of VTEC motors, bro. Why would I sell this car? Like, yo. Woo! I love the knife jams, man. Car is amazing. Car is spectacular. Like, yo, I love this car. Oh my gosh. Oh, I definitely passed the line. Let me go back. Oh, wait, never mind. clutch or any clutch brand wants to sponsor me please please sponsor me bro i keep power shifting i can't stop well, all right guys this is why i'm gonna end off the video i'm almost by my house so i don't want you guys to know where i live <laughs> but yeah man if you guys enjoyed the video please drop a like comment subscribe follow your boy on instagram my underscore guys soda and your boys out peace